Johnny, did everybody just miss on Hero Minor? Check this out. Down along the right, make inside and across. Baby Minor spins and shoots. Think I have a cape or what? <laughs> trying as hard as he can to stay with him, but that between-the-legs dribble, and then nobody comes to help. Butler, I guess, tries, but much too little too late. Miner just pushed the elevator button for a couple of floors higher than Butler could manage. Watch Michael Jordan. He's everywhere on defense, folks. Take that. Well, hang time working as a weapon most often for minor, but not that time. I don't know. He had a great uh, college career. Oh, he's great at USC, yeah. He won the NBA Slam Dunk Championship as a rookie. Now he's trying to become only the third player ever to win it twice. From the Miami Heat, Harold Miner. Next up is the champion from two years ago, Harold Miner. From the Miami Heat, and he was only one of four rookies to win the Slam Dunk Championship. A nice routine out of Harold Miner. I, I think you're going to see some, some, some sweet dunks here. Slam dunk competition history. 
Michael Jordan and Dominique Wilkins won it twice each. If he can just get one more semi-impressive, he's got this thing won. But just he just dunks with so much power. Then them kind you can't try to block right there. Maybe it's the shoes, Charles. Oh no, they're not my shoes. <laughs> Scotty Pippen looking on. It looks like Harold Miner's gonna walk away with this slam dunk championship. He's already hit two. Oh, yes. This guy is so explosive. And our winner is Harold Miner. No wonder he's smiling so much from Miami, who has won for the second time. And tonight, no question, Niner was finer. The 1995 slam dunk champion. We'll be back to talk to Harold Arena, where Harold Miner has become the third two-time champion, joining Michael Jordan and Dominique Wilkins to win this contest at least two times. And let's go now to look at the trophy presentation from, of all people, Julius Irving, who really set the standard for how to dunk a basketball. And it's been a long way down since the great dunks of Julius Irving, that's for sure. Let's go to Craig Sager. Well, Harold, you had this trophy two years ago. Injuries, you couldn't defend your title, but you got it back. Talk about tonight's competition, obviously the music and the different rule changes. Well, first of all, I want to thank God for, for giving me the, the athletic ability to come out here and do what I did. Um, you know, some great competition. JR, you know, one of, the, one of the greatest athletes that I've ever seen. And, uh, you know, to be out here and, uh, you know, and compete with guys like that is very, very rewarding for me. Um, hopefully I can just build upon this now. What does this do for the Miami Heat? Your teammate, Glenn Rice, won the long-distance shootout. You come in and win the slam dunk. Well, I heard Glenn in the background saying uh, it was a heat wave in here. You know, we took the trophy, so, you know, it was very good. It's very good for the organization. Anything young guns like to do is dunk. Like a man here. They used to call you Baby Jordan, but now they got to call you Mr. Harold Miner. Harold Miner, I just like to have fun, I just like to release a lot of energy, so I like to throw it down. I heard that, I heard that. <laughs> well, let's check in with some of these guys out. Mm -hmm. now, maybe I'll show you some of my dumps. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> I love to go to the basket, I love to get inside, and but you have to finish it with authority. I want to go up there and try to tear it down. Pick up a headline up, my man have a mind up. Filling the flow, fire fire than an airliner. There's more in the scoring, storming and scoring. So make room room for baby Jordan. I live in Dolphin Hip Hop, so shoot the rock for the day. I get props to hip hop plus the NBA. After you do it, that's everything, you know, in terms of getting the, the crowd into it. It's a matter of continuing to work and, and just getting that opportunity. That was a cloud piercer for me. Next year, the contest would move to Utah and find a new favorite in a six foot four inch rookie guard. My pick is Harold Miner. Who's the pick, man? Harold Miner! Miner would not rely on a blindfold, but rather on his explosive leaping ability and thorough knowledge of dunk history. You know, growing up, I mean, I really enjoyed, you know, getting up and, you know, exciting the crowds, you know, with, you know, my slam dunking. I kind of imitated everything that they did, from Michael to Doc, Kyle.
Johnny Hawkins, Dominique, you know, all these guys, you know, these are my heroes. Minor would be challenged by a cast of intimidating veterans, but in the end, it would be the precocious rookie who would emerge victorious. I just went in there trying to focus on, on, on what I had to do, doing what came naturally and getting up, you know, just getting loose and kind of feeding off the, uh, the adrenaline in the, in the crowd.